Welcome to Management Myths. Today's myth, managers need aggregated info. John, the manager, has just entered his office and sat at his desk, and is scrolling through emails, but before he finds one he deems important, a subordinate enters. Managers often leave their doors open to encourage communication between them and their subordinates. Sir, we are missing parts to assemble half of the CPUs which are due for shipment in two days. The system says that we have those parts in the warehouse, so can you get them? In this instance, John must ask as a disturbance handler in order to solve the problem that Josh has brought to his attention. I'm sorry, Josh, but the system is incorrect. We had to use those parts for the emergency order last month and for repairing returned items, and we were unable to input those retrievals in the system. Managers, contrary to popular opinion, do not like to use informational systems because usually the systems are not completely up to date and lack certain pertinent information that only the manager is privy to. Therefore, the manager's own mind is his or her most valuable informational asset. How will we complete the orders then? We have a meeting about succeeding in completing orders in two hours. Don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. Managers do not have time to info dump on their subordinates. They usually find it quicker to solve problems themselves rather than to delegate. While skimming his emails earlier, John noticed that his peer manager at another location emailed him about a shortage of their own. Therefore, John calls his peer manager. Hello? Hey John, did you get my email? Yes, what did it say? Managers prefer verbal communication as opposed to reading documents. It makes the info easier to process. We have a shortage for parts for our graphics cards. Do you happen to have a surplus? As it happens, yes I do, but I need a favor from you as well. Shoot, I need parts for the CPUs. You're in luck, partner. What has just occurred is an example of a manager fulfilling the role of liaison because he has to deal with a manager outside of his own formal command chain. We could also say that he has allocated resources efficiently. Now we progress to him in another role, that is, the disseminator. Hey Josh, John says, the CPU parts are on the way. I need you to get a shipment of parts for graphics cards ready for delivery as well. Now that that situation has been handled, it is time for the manager to move on to the next role, that of the figurehead. Yet again, we have successfully completed another order, and that is all thanks to you. I couldn't ask for better employees. There you have it. Now you can see how managers operate, not with the help of structured information systems, but through their own knowledge, ingenuity, and communication. Thank you for watching.